I visited Edinburgh, Scotland, and I'm gonna give my honest rating and review of it as a random Canadian broad. She doesn't even go here. Right away, I'm gonna to have to deduct one point for the 0% of Scotty dogs that I saw. This was truly appalling and I was really disappointed by this. Now on the upside, Scotland does have a greater sheep population than human population and that is amazing. And I'm gonna to have to add nine points for that. These are the statistics I can get behind. Something that immediately stood out to me was how busty the Scottish lasses are. Mama. The only thing bigger than their bosom were their massive eyebrows. That's a huge bitch. Add seven points, but take away three. I am truly sad to report that I rode a train for four and a half hours to have the worst meal of my entire life. Exhibit A. Truly atrocious, however, the comedic value was not lost on me because the UK is notorious for having disgusting food. You need to leave. I am going to have to deduct seven points for this horrendous meal. After enduring this heinous meal, I had to just splurge on my hotel's breakfast buffet and it was amazing. Get in my belly! Add nine points. According to my period tracking app, I took 27,000 steps one day walking around Edinburgh, and I have to say, I really enjoyed how friendly the people are and how spacious the city is. It's not shoulder to shoulder like London, and I really enjoyed the atmosphere. Add 15 points. I'm gonna have to give myself minus 10 points for not being able to find the castle, which is literally the focal point of the entire city and right in the middle. You are really dumb, for real. On the day I had to leave, I booked a cab really early because I wanted to arrive for my train on time and he was very, very late. I was watching him in my app, tracking his cab, and he either got lost or was dawdling. I was very aggravated and stressed out when he got there. And then when he dropped me off, he called me Honey Bun. I'm gonna add seven points for the cabbies being very charming and endearing. All in all, I would love to visit Scotland again and spend more time in the countryside, but I will not be splurging on restaurant meals because yeah. And if you're a chiropractor, you should maybe move to Scotland. All right, baby Jade. All right, guys, here we go. Our first walking adventure into Edinburgh. I'm in the house here. And I hope this suitcase isn't oversized because that's scary to me. This place is huge and hectic, but I already asked for help and I'm standing in the right place. Pray for me. Hello and welcome on board this LNER Azuma to Edinburgh Waverley. Guys, I'm in the bathroom of this freaking train. If you're curious what it is like, walking through a train moving as fast as crazy. Finally in my hotel, three hours later than expected. It's really hot, I'm so sweaty, I'm so hungry. Both my trains got delayed and then the second one got canceled, then my taxi got canceled and I bought two tickets for no reason. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Flip out, man. Let's reset the energy, have a shower, wash it all off. And then we're gonna go out for our first night. Okay, I'm ready to go for I'm dinner. Totally moaning it tonight. Good from afar, but far from good. <laughs> Anyways, let's go find some food. The people here are really friendly, so that's nice. <laughs> Well, 
<laughs> Walking along Princess Street looking at the freaking shops and then I look to the right and this is the crazy bluff with like buildings on it. It is now 11.18. It's seriously so warm and sunny, like I'm shocked. I'm just gonna walk all the Princess Street until I get to the mall at the end of it. three times today oh because of my trousers what's wrong with your trousers look at the fucking size of them i just popped into this place called sips outside the mall it has a cute little big grass patio and swing chairs this espresso martini was 10 pounds which is actually a lot in canadian but you're kind of paying for the atmosphere and i love it. swings and this is gonna do some stimming for me and then I can continue on my journey. A little alcohol and a little caffeine. Life is good and I'm in the shade. That's the view. That's the mall. They love fake flowers here and I love fake flowers. So Princess Street is like on the cusp of Old Town and New Town. And so what you're seeing is Old Town. And we're gonna go explore that now. Something I find so interesting in the UK is the houses have these like ground floor suites which are different houses and they're like under the ground. This one has pretty big windows but some of them don't and I guess they're just like basement suites in North America. Street Gardens. Okay, I need to go back to my hotel. I'm getting tired. I've been milling about for what feels like hours in the sun. Just for this bloody castle, I reckon. I thought the cathedral was a castle, but I'm pretty sure that's the castle. Hello, we're just walking to the famous Circus Lane, and it's one of the most beautiful streets in Edinburgh. beautiful here but I feel bad for the people that live in these houses because there's so many of us including me taking photos and videos here. Let's go get some breakfast again before we leave today. I just made a booking mistake but it's gonna be okay. We are on our way back to London. Just got in from the Gatton, Gatwick Express train. There was a train fire, so I couldn't take the tube. Ended up taking a really nice taxi here and the shuttle, which will take me back to the airport in the morning. I'm just going to go to sleep tonight and then my flight out in the morning back to Canada. And I am ready. Let me tell you, no more trains for me for a while. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 